the biggest and most accurate prediction world war 3 is coming america russia and israel will be defeated islam will rise again and all this will happen from pakistan we will see how this is all going to happen assalamu alaikum Throughout time, we've had exposure to predictions about the future for the likes of Nostradamus and Baba Vanga, whose predictions have gone viral throughout the world and has intrigued many people. But the success rate of these predictions is questionable, and also the clarity of what is predicted in their wordings is also questionable. However, there is one person whose predictions are coming 100% true. And today we are going to explore what this is all about. So Nostradamus had predicted a great event of World War III, where some of his predictions say that uh, the East will take over the West. Uh, Baba Vanga also had a similar prediction uh, that a all-world nuclear war will break out. Uh, when is that going to happen? How the events will lead up to it? No one really knows. But how? do we work out the clarity in this well guys i want to share with you the information about muhammad qasim who has seen events related to the future of mankind in his dreams many of his dreams are coming true exactly as he had seen them muhammad qasim is a man from pakistan he's about 43 44 years old at the moment and he has seen dreams for the last 20 years he claims these dreams to be of divine nature, where he has conversed with the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and he has also had conversations with Allah Azza wa Jal. Now, wait, before you close this video, I think it's important for you to understand what his dreams are all about and what the predictions in his dreams are. Broadly speaking, Muhammad Qasim's dreams can be classified into different domains or themes. These domains are World War III, diseases and calamities, spirituality of his dreams, the future time of peace, and the war that will break out. He terms this as the war against the Antichrist or the Jal. Well, let's put those things aside. The more juicy aspect of his dreams are the events that will happen in the future. So let's discuss World War III. The opening events of World War III will unfold as darkness spreads throughout the world. Muhammad Qasim has seen that an evil plan will be knitted against Muslims and the likelihood of this occurring in my opinion is in the coming few years. Muhammad Qasim has also seen that Islam is protected by three countries in this world and Turkey will be the first of these countries to fall. Russia will attempt to save Turkey for their own interests, but will fail. At this time, the war will continue to occupy the Middle East and reach Saudi Arabia, where the destruction will cause great grief amongst the Muslims. Saudi Arabia is of course a sacred and symbolic center of religious history for Muslims. While this is happening, Pakistan will prosper and grow, as true Islam of Prophet Muhammad is implemented there. And this will come as a big surprise to the superpowers. Allah will grant mercy and success to Pakistan as it heaves through the struggles and fence of India in Ghazwai Hin. Then Pakistan will land itself into the war in the Middle East. From there, Pakistan is set to defeat the world powers USA, Russia and Israel. Muhammad Qasim says that after this, an era of peace is established and Islam dominates as the world religion. People will come to know the true Islam of Prophet Muhammad Now, when these events will actually happen, we can't really put a time frame to it. But what we can say surely is that Muhammad Qasim's dreams have come true 100%. And there is a very high likelihood that these events will start happening very soon and we will witness them in the Middle East. Many of the events that he has described in his dreams 
have already occurred. Now, this is a very important point to note because this sets certainty towards why I believe Muhammad Qasim's other dreams will come true exactly as he has seen them. We first look at Muhammad Qasim's dreams about Palestine. In February 2017, Muhammad Qasim saw that Israel builds a brown colored building in Palestine. Muslims protest but to no avail and the building goes to completion. In February 2017, Muhammad Qasim also saw in a dream an alliance meeting between USA, Israel and India where the PM of India, Narendra Modi says, I have spread destruction in Kashmir the same way Israel did in Palestine. Then in March 2017, Muhammad Qasim saw the Israel PM Benjamin Netanyahu say, I have almost completed the temple of the Jal, Antichrist, and soon only the name of Palestine will be left. What events we have seen unfold since this dream include the removal of Palestine from global maps of Google and Apple, uh, Jerusalem being recognized globally as the capital of Israel, which was in 6th of December 2017, and most recently aggressive annexation efforts and military aggression against the people of Palestine. Similarly, on October 9th, 2017, Muhammad Qasim saw a premonition of an earthquake to come that will destroy world economies. He saw that an earthquake comes in waves with the subsequent one stronger than the precedent. This leads to a destruction of world economies and some countries collapse beyond recovery. Symbolic to a natural disaster, today we see coronavirus has brought similar impact to global economies. With the multiple waves of mutations, one after another, many countries are now showing signs of collapse due to rising debt and economic disaster following a COVID recession. With rising food inflation, loss of income and financial collapse, poorer countries face a more difficult recovery track. This is only if the world has battled out of COVID, for which today we do not have any clarity. On a micro level, Mohammed Qasim has also seen events in his dreams that have translated to the current situation of Pakistan and its PM Imran Khan. In 2018 and 19, Mohammed Qasim saw that Imran Khan will continue to campaign and introduce plans in Pakistan, but he will continue to struggle and fail. He also saw that Imran Khan continues to focus on debt and accountability and loses focus on prices and inflation in Pakistan. And soon this inflation reaches a point where Imran Khan himself cannot do anything to fix the situation. In 2020 and 2021, Muhammad Qasim saw further dreams about Imran Khan and Pakistan that have come true exactly as he had seen them. In fact, Muhammad Qasim saw exact phrases in his dreams that were later said by Imran Khan in his speeches. Or we have to come to see this in the news and this is truly fascinating. In the next video, I will talk more about the spirituality of dreams and the divine nature of Muhammad Qasim's dreams. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time. Assalamu alaikum.